The recently released film, The Kashmir Files, has exposed old and new fault lines. It has touched a chord with Kashmiri pundits, but some say that the film has the impact of polarizing society. Today, a massive endorsement for the film came from Prime Minister Modi, who asked people to come out and watch the film, saying that there seems to be a conspiracy to discredit the film and the message that it was trying to portray because the film reveals the truth. In a moment from now, Anupam Kher, Vivek Agnihotri and Pallavi Joshi will be with us on India Today in this special conversation. Uh, but before that, let me take you through all that's been happening on both sides, the political divide through the day. Vivek Agnihotri's hotly debated film, The Kashmir Files, has got a big endorsement from Prime Minister Modi himself. As controversy rages on, the Prime Minister took a swipe at the critics of the film, saying that there's been a conspiracy to discredit the movie. <laughs> Prime Minister Modi added that his concern is that the truth should be brought out in a proper manner. मेरा विषय है कि जो सत्य है उसको सही स्वरूप में देश के सामने लाना देश के भलाई के लिए होता है सारी दुनिया मार्टिन लूथर किंग की किंग की बात करता है सारी दुनिया नेल्सन मंडेला की बात करता है लेकिन दुनिया गांधी की चर्चा बहुत कम करता है पहली बार एक विदेशी जब गांधी फिल्म बनाई और उसका के पुरस्कार मिला तब जाकर के दुनिया को पता चला गांधी इतने बड़े महान व्यक्ति थे लेकिन आपने देखा होगा Emergency, इतनी बड़ी घटना कोई फिल्म नहीं बना पाया क्योंकि सत्य को दबाने का लगातार प्रयास हुई हमारे देश में blood, tears and politics. The Kashmir Files has invoked some strong reactions. Several BJP rule states have exempted the film from entertainment tax, with some chief ministers even explicitly backing the recently released movie. झूठ पे झूठ हो रहा है जिस सरकार में भाजपा भागीदार थी वो सरकार के दौरान सबसे ज्यादा कश्मीरी पंडितों का पलायन हुआ जिसमें बीजेपी हिस्सेदार थी जिस तरह से सिर्फ राजनीतिक फायदे के लिए कश्मीर को बर्बाद किया कश्मीरियों को बर्बाद किया और कश्मीरी पंडितों को सबसे ज्यादा नुकसान किया वो फिल्म सच उससे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं हो सकता है कुछ कम है और सच्चाई है उसमें इसलिए देश को देखना चाहिए कांग्रेस के दुकर्म को दिखाएगा कांग्रेस के गलतियों को दिखाएगा और टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग जो आज वोट के खातिर दुष्टिकरण कर रहे हैं जो आज हिजाब को एक आंदोलन खड़ा कर रहे हैं जो आज मुस्लिम कट्टरपंथ को बढ़ावा दे रहे हैं जो कांग्रेस आज कह रहा है कि हिंदू से ज्यादा मुसलमान मरा कश्मीर ये देश को बदनाम करने वाले देश के जो कैंसर है टुकड़े गैंग सबको एक्सपोज करती हुई ये जो फिल्म है हर भारतीय को देखनी चाहिए और इसको टैक्स भी हर जगह करना चाहिए और विवेक जी को पल्लवी जी को अनुपम जी को बहुत बहुत बधाई उन्होंने पूरी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री को जितने भी बॉलीवुड के किए हुए पाप हैं आज इन्होंने धो दिए सबने While a whirlpool of politics and hysteria swirls over the Kashmir files, has one of India's most blood-drenched chapters finally been dragged out into the sun? Bureau report, no India Today. Exodus. No, Exodus nahi. Hello and welcome. Very rarely does a contemporary film evoke the kind of diverse reactions the Kashmir files is generating. On the one side, you've got the Prime Minister commenting on the film, asking people to go out and watch it in large numbers. On the other side, you've got two ecosystems at loggerheads. One set of people loving the film, loving the fact that the plight of the Kashmiri Pandits has been brought out in its gory for the world to see. The other labeling the film as being biased and part of a larger political agenda. 
to talk about the kind of reactions the Kashmir file is generating. I am delighted to be joined in the India Today Media Plex by Vivek Agnihotri, who's brought this film together. One of uh, the finest legends of Indian cinema, Anupam Kher, is with us. And she looks like Arundhati Roy on the screen, but that's not who she is. Palavi Joshi joins us. Thank you so much. And it's a delight to have you. And we've got with me as my co-anchor for this broadcast, Pooja Ashali. She's a Kashmiri Pandit herself, very passionate about the film. We're having a furious debate earlier in the news meeting. Absolutely. And we said Pooja must absolutely be here for this interview. So welcome, Pooja, Thank as you. well. This is a story very close to Pooja's. Uh, this, is a, this was an opportunity I was not going to let go, for sure. <laughs> Vivek, I'll start by asking you about the kind of reactions the Kashmir Files is generating. And this is one film where we've had the Prime Minister, interestingly, urge people to go out and watch the film. And the opposition says, hey, we told you so. This is essentially Vivek Agnihotri, Anupam Kher and Pallavi pushing an agenda which suits the ruling dispensation. How do you react to the surround sound that we're seeing around the Kashmir Files? First of all, Rahul, I'll just tell you, you know how our brains are wired. You used in the introduction the diverse reactions. There is no diverse reaction. There is a monochromatic, unanimous, consensual uh, reaction all over the world. All over the world. Anywhere in the world, not India. Frankfurt, Kenya, Norway, Finland, Australia, in these places, four people are not Hindi film. There, they are jam-packed. You are not getting tickets. People are crying. People are clapping. They are saying, Bharat Mata ki jai. So don't use the word diverse. There cannot be diverse views on terrorism. Do not try make an attempt to create narrative. It's a golden moment in the history of India, where in independent India, such a genocide took place. Not even one person called it genocide. What? We kept calling it exodus. What do you think has led to this reaction? Because pandemic, of, after two years, theatres open. People are rushing, sponsoring tickets because my timeline and, and the people I've grown up with are only talking about this film. And there is a debate. There is a debate to a certain extent on this film. There is no debate. But my, you my, know, there is no debate. You are is, creating debate. There is no debate. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. But my, my question is, what do you think has happened? Why are people suddenly rushing? Because your film did not have traditional marketing. It was word of mouth. People are telling each other. I am getting messages. Have you watched it? Why? Why? It simply shows that the, all these establishments have failed. Establishment of historians, establishment of intellectual, establishment of media. I know Raul won't like to hear this, but it is true. All the people who have made minted money millions, all the people who have created so many TRPs discussing tier, uh, Kashmir, when the film on Kashmir Files was made, not even one TV channel I was begging everybody, please give us space. Not one TV channel gave us space. When on 26th of January, for the first time, we displayed the map of Kashmir at Times Square, no TV channel cared for us. When the Capitol Hill invited us for the congressional reception, when the uh, Democrat senators, when the Republican senators called and praised our film and admitted it was a genocide, not one media channel reported it. The people see it. Today, barbers, panwale, Rikshe wale, revdi wale, jinko aap log sirf ek statistic samajhte hai, insaan samajhte nahi hai. Today they are buying, rikshe wale in Kanpur are giving free rights to people saying, saying ki is paise se aap ticket khari do. Jyotishi log free mein haat dekh rahe hai. It's very easy to sit and ki government ne kiya hai. Kahan thi wo government jab hum log America mein apne paise se ek ek chavanni chavanni udhaar le le ke ye film gali gali ghoom rahe te. Kyo ni TV ke walo ne care kiya? Aaj ye tufan, salab jo fata hai, it shows the, the hypocrisy of Indian intellectuals have crumbled. It talks about Kashmiris, Buddhists, Sikhs, Christians, Gujar, Dalit, Dogras. And the moderate Muslims also. And every Muslim. The last scene, the most penultimate climax scene of the film is written by a Kashmiri Muslim boy without changing a comma and okay. this thing. So the reason I am pitching, taking the pitch higher, because I don't want this audience to get confused that there is a debate because there is no debate. Okay, let Anupam Kher respond to this. I'm sure you've, I, I respect what you're saying and you know that we're very fond of you, but the fact is that there is a difference of opinion and what but we're trying to... Rahul, I, I think the difference of opinion is ratio-wise 0.01% to 99.999%. Now, uh, I'll have to agree and I want to agree and I'm, I totally agree with Vivek that if you also agree that there is no debate, there is no diversity, then there is no show. So, let's just face the
that this, you can, okay, you want to say that government is endorsing this, but you can't make government people like the film. Oh, absolutely. You can't do that. You can't, there is, a, I am getting phone calls from people who have not spoken to me for 20 years. And I totally agree with Vivek that let's not sort of create, ki logon mein abhi tak jo jhund ke jhund salap ki salap tsunami ki tsunami leke ja rahe hain, let's just keep it as a film. Nobody, when people go into the cinema hall in the darkness of cinema, they don't see, sit, see that sit next, sit, person sitting next to me is a Muslim or sitting Christian or Sardar or Hindu like thing. They see a film, they emotionally react to the film. They do not want to sort of say that they're not, it's not housing societies where they don't allow Hindus or Muslims or something like that. People, and that's the magic of in cinema. On, on social media, for example, let's begin. The, you, you see a lot of these people sharing document numbers saying 100 died, 200 died, okay, 300 died, maximum 500,000 died. Is it a genocide? Why, through your film, you think it needs to be called a genocide if the number officially You're a Kashmiri. is Let not that Let me just ask high. you that question directly. Do hmm. you think it's a genocide? It was a genocide? So ev no, ev don't, don't be uh, okay. dispassionate. Don't Ask become Kashmiri. Don't, Hindu ki don't, okay. don't be an also, anchor. Also, also, also a journalist. I will tell you. I will tell depend on the whole Kashmiri Kashmiri community. I don't represent the whole community, but I'll say for this myself. But do you think the Kashmiri, you are Kashmiri Pandit? Yes. Do you कि हमारे साथ जेनोसाइड हुआ था कि क्या अब हुआ? मैं आपको बताती हूँ। Every Kashmiri Pandit I've spoken to who has faced 1990 said this. Now, what are you saying? I'll tell you. I'll tell no, you. I'll I'll tell I want that I'll answer. Tell this no, don't. I'll please, tell you what. I want your answer. You, आपके parents कहाँ? आपके parents कश्मीर को बोलने दो ना आप। नहीं 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 नहीं। Let us speak for ourselves. No 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 no. I'll tell you. There's a tough question being asked. Yes. Do you think it was a genocide or exodus? We are so used to calling it at max an exodus. Maybe an ethnic cleansing that even genocide, the same issue I have also faced and I also believed till now that because the numbers officially are not so high Forget the numbers. for it a Was genocide. It a genocide no, but I think that's a bit of a bogus debate. The fact that it's a genocide can't be contested. The fact that Kashmiri Pandits Good. were deliberately targeted and forced to leave their homes and the fact that enough hasn't been done even over the so last seven stick years. Let's to that kind of a thing. I'm only interested in this interview if you are sticking to the don't make me or make us speak about and defend it, defend the film. After 32 years, but Why should there be anything to defend in the film? You've made no, a film the, the way that you see it, and that's are, the film that you made. Those and that's questions are making me feel defensive. I, I will I say to, this. I'll, I'll have to defend, are ye genocide hai ki nahi hai, exodus hai ki nahi, char log maare the, paanch log Why don't you thai. read out what the most democrat, secular and liberal state in American U United States thinks? See, this was given to us. Uh, Dikhado, it's the official seal, they have yeah. to see. Can you see it in the camera? Can we zoom in? Please just zoom in and focus on that. Yes, yeah, now you can read it. Social media is available. Ha, this, is, this is available everywhere now. So uh, we went for this uh, 16 uh, screenings in the US, a pre-release screening. And one of the uh, places we screened this was at Boston. So Rhode Island, uh, after seeing the film, this was sent to us. Dr. Surinder Call is sitting here. He got it, he got it with him when he came. It says, uh, the state of Rhode Island, be it hereby known to all that the Rhode Island House of Representatives hereby offer its sincerest congratulations to Vivek Ranjan Agnihotri, director and filmmaker, in recognition of the premier of the Kashmir Files, detailing terrorism and extremism by memori memorializing the events of 1990 in which 500,000 Kashmiri Hindus were ethnically cleansed in the Kashmir Valley by Islamic gangs and forced to live as refugees. And this is signed by the Speaker of the House, signed by the majority leader and by the minority leader, which means the Democrats and the Republicans together along with the Speaker. I, and I, Dr. I, Call got it yesterday from America. So I I will say this, because I've known these survivors, I've known most of the families, we've all had them around them. I could not believe when I was watching the Kashmir Files that they've actually put it so directly on cinema because I have, I know how difficult it has been to speak. Uh, I, Darshan Kumar is not here, but you must go and tell them that I was that student who stood up in her classroom once confronting a professor on her Kashmir rhetoric and I was ridiculed in return. I was, my friends did not know, so they giggled and they said that uh, they, did, they couldn't believe what I was talking about. So. 
I know how difficult it was to actually have been able to see that on cinema finally. It has been difficult for the Kashmiri Pandits to have their voice out. I don't doubt that. And, and that's but why it's resonated so yes, deeply with the absolutely. community because blacks, everyone feels it's their own absolutely shock to see blacks. Yes, these Christians, Jews. Aaj I have a video dala wo Jew aurat. Kal mujhe wo bheja kisi ne Indian ne. Why is she crying and she's saying there was another Holocaust nobody told us? And who was supposed to tell? Who was supposed to tell? One of the senior journalists went and she created a absolute biggest lie. She said that they left because they were the exploiters, oppressors. We have to stop this now. Enough is enough. And, and nobody believed the Kashmiri Pandits. And it's this film is about humanity. This film is about oneness. This film shows about education. I am surprised that we are sitting in an interview where nobody is asking me, oh boy, you have taken the humanity thing forward. You have spoken about education. Did you, if Mr. Steven Spielberg was sitting here, Rahul, put your hand on your heart, would you dare ask this question? They have diverse views. Of course. You will. My job is to ask I, questions. I, 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 I will. Okay. Here okay. I am saying I I say say that that No, 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 no. no, 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 no hang on. I must also speak. I must speak. No, no, let, let me make a point. Let me make a point. I am your guest. Of course you are. Let me make a point before you make your point. Just make my point. I am your guest. Give me ten. point. You are caught. You are caught. No, I am not caught at all. No, I am your guest. Give me ten. No, no, no. Listen, listen. You are not listening. You are just playing with the gun. AK-47 is feeling like it is my fault. Oh. जो आतंकवादियों ने कश्मीरी पंडितों का हाल किया मेरे को बेचारे गोली मार मार के बहाल कर नहीं बात सुन लीजिए जिस लोग उसके उसके आप भी सिंपेटिसाइजर हैं किसी का सिंपेटिसाइजर नहीं हो आप क्या बात क्यों पूछ रहे हैं Because as Anupam bhai himself said there has to be an interview if I just stand up and start clapping for you no don't clap then how is there going to be an interview I must challenge you I must provoke you Ask me I can't questions be here about telling film. you how great you are. I'm supposed to ask questions, which is how we're supposed to ask have an me interview. tough questions about my film. I am. I am just coming to that. Now, one of the critical points, yeah. Mr. Khair, I remember you had made when you'd gone back to your home in downtown Srinagar was about the desire, not just of yours, of Pooja's, of virtually every member of the Kashmiri Pandit community to go back home. To go back and to uh, be where they were, houses sold off in distress at cheap rates. That hasn't really materialized despite favorable circumstances after Article 370. Why do you think that's the case? And can the film provoke that conversation, give it some energy so Kashmiri Pandits can start going back? How can that be possible? It, it took us about 200 years to get independence. 200 years, millions of people died and we waited for it. Finally, after 200, before that 800 years, we were ruled by the Mughals and after that <coughs> Britishers. It has taken us, it, the Article 370 has been abrogated about three years back. When Before the, lost due to the... Two, two years lost. Yeah. So, usme ye film a gai hai. Aap shayad us show mein nahi the, jis mein yaan Kashmiri Pandit baithe the. Magar, it takes a little time. Change is not, I'm, we are not here to defend anybody, any particular government. And if the government has done a great job by abrogating Article 370, which the previous governments did not do, then it's, and they took pictures with, the people with the, with the sympathizers of terrorists and separatists and laughingly shaking hands, bringing them to Prime Minister's house, that's their, their outlook how they, to they go about it. But if the present government has abrogated Article 375 and 35A and if the Prime Minister has made this appeal today to the, in, the, in the parliament, I don't know where he made, said that, I think I want to applaud him for that. Do you I hope that this sparks and it will take a it will for take more people time. to go people back. People don't want to go back to the same places. They are horrified that they will be killed again. They are waiting. But look at the Kashmiri Pandit community. None of them raised, picked up guns. They survived all these 30, 32 years just because they believe in education, they believe in arts and culture and things like that. And they believe in belonging to the country they live in. We are, nobody is saying that it did not, the film talks about it. The Muslims in uh, Kashmir have also suffered because of terrorism. The kind of infrastructure, the kind of development that is used, that is used by the youth of this country in the rest of the part of the country apart from Kashmir should be given to those people also. So 
let's not make it about one community to another community this community is favored but 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 do you think prime minister favored. modi needs to go out meet them in camps dr manmohan singh did but this government has to prove because it has taken the initiative what you but think you abrogation think, of article 370 is nothing i think it was a very important step it was the it is it is it is as in it has been taken but yes. do you think until there is this rehabilitation that happens it will take many time. will will may just think that it this was just time. politics did your parents live in a refugee camp my parents did not live in a refugee camp but i'll tell you this i'll so tell you that yeah. means please understand the pain of uh, why, we, we, i'll i'll the, in fact add the whole on. tone is which it is a really real conversation that's why we are sort of getting yes. upset no, of angry etc which is very good uh, because we no no i'm not we, angry don't no, misunderstand no, me no i'm i'm, I'm no from problem. hindi no. medium school so i जोश में आगे बोलना तो उसको एंगर बोलता हूं आई आई टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट अ रिफ्यूजी कैंप राहुल व्हेन आई वेंट देयर वर वाज वन गर्ल चेंजिंग हर क्लोथ्स विद विद ट्रंक्स एज ऑन ऑन द पाइल इट इज अ वेरी स्मॉल रूम नाउ ऑफ कोर्स दे हैव अपार्टमेंट्स आई सॉ अ गर्ल वेरी सिमिलर टू माय एज आई मस्ट बी 20 देन चेंजिंग क्लोथ्स बिहाइंड द ट्रंक्स व्हाइल आई लिव्ड फेयरली अ प्रिविलेज लाइफ इन दिल्ली so i the moment i was wondering what will happen to this community i saw this 10 year old girl i distinctly remember i think it was purkhor jagti refugee camp and she was busy with her books she was doing her homework she didn't even look at me and that was the moment i knew that this community is sorted and when he his character says mujhe kam paise ka lens do because he has a grandchild to take care of because padhai zyada zaruri hai and my parents even though we we didn't live in a refugee camp we lived in delhi but the focus of our families our neighbors people we have known the focus was don't think of anything else padhai karo that's a karo. true story puja you know when he have said it have you heard it, of uh, martyr major amit mm. in kargil who died when he oh. said it it was it, it is was the true. story of his father mm. when his father he, he had two options either to uh, get a uh, expensive lens or a cheaper lens his father opted for cheaper lens because he spent money for the study of amit he said i want my son to go in army so that he can protect kashmir and he died i mean died in and the father became blind so aap hi ki story se judi baat bolna chahta hu aap un logon ki baat kar rahe hain jinhone har bar kisi har mudde par criticize kiya hai not only about kashmir jin jo keh rahe hain diverse views hain wo hamesha bolte hain jab pradhan mantri ne lal kile se सफाई अभियान या शौचालय की बात की थी तो उन्होंने मजाक उड़ाया था तब भी हमको लगता था कि औरतें गांव में लोटा उठाकर शौचालय के लिए क्यों जाती हैं सो इफ यू मेड अ फिल्म दैट इज ऑन कश्मीरी पंडित सो टू से देयर व्यू पॉइंट कश्मीरी हिंदूज कश्मीरी हिंदूज हाउ हैज इट बिकम सो पॉलिटिकल बीजेपी स्टेट्स आर स्पॉन्सरिंग इट सेइंग इट्स टैक्स फ्री दे आर सपोर्टिंग इट व्हाइल द कांग्रेस इज ऑन अ स्प्री स्पॉन्सरिंग इट दे आर नॉट स्पॉन्सरिंग इट दे आर इनकरेजिंग इन इन बीजेपी रूल स्टेट्स आई करेक्ट माय सेल्फ एंड दे आर सेइंग इट्स टैक्स फ्री पीपल नीड टू गो प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज स्पीकिंग व्हाइल द कांग्रेस पार्टी यू शुड आस्क द अदर क्वेश्चन व्हाई नॉन बीजेपी स्टेट्स आर नॉट मेकिंग इट लेट मी लेट मी कंप्लीट द कांग्रेस इज ऑन अ ट्विटर स्प्री Digvijay Singh has called your movie false. Congress is saying again numbers were slow. Our government Ab did Dig so Vijay much. Digvijay Singh's talk. So, so political. Because Hindu terrorism also said. They said that there was Hindu terrorism. They also said that book book went and inaugurated that there was RSS terrorism. This is what is creating conflict. Don't talk about that. This is what is creating conflict. मुझे उनका point of view नहीं समझ रहा. They are calling it distortion. Who is it? Sir, I am. I am. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? the congress party Nain, said that you misquoted no the the kerala unit congress, congress, congress had given a long press congress, congress jo party hai jisko aaj log congress party samajhti hain jawaharlal nehru kya the kashmiri pandit the hmm. indira gandhi bade garv se kehti thi main kashmiri pandit hu rajiv gandhi kehte the main kashmiri pandit hu rahul gandhi ne abhi vote batorne ke liye bola main kashmiri pandit main kashmiri brahman hu unne bola pandit bhi nahi bola unne jiska baap jiski dadi terrorism mein mari ho उन लोगों को शर्म नहीं आती है इस तरह की बात करते हुए और आप उनको क्यों आप ये सवाल उनसे पूछिए आप ऐसा क्यों कर रहे हैं मुझसे क्यों पूछ रहे हो ऐसा क्यों बोल रहे हैं इट इज योर ड्यूटी एज अ मीडिया टू गो एंड आस्क देम दैट व्हाई द हेल ऑन दिस अर्थ यू आर सेइंग दिस अबाउट योर ओन ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स पल्लवी वन ऑफ द हॉलमार्क्स ऑफ द कश्मीरी हिंदू कम्युनिटी हैज बीन द डिजायर फॉर नॉलेज इन एजुकेशन एंड द डिटर्मिनेशन टू स्टे अवे फ्रॉम वायलेंट एक्रमनी एंड रिवेंज and focus on upskilling which is why some of the finest doctors writers thinkers have uh, come from the community and the role that you portray is one of uh, what's happening in academic institutions we want to uh, 
focus on that for a bit because it's part of a larger debate in terms of what's taught in colleges, universities, uh, by professors, and how this so far largely has been one left liberal point of view. Is this an attempt to try and shake the status quo further? See, this is a film we made on what happened in the 1990 with uh, the Kashmiri Hindu community. Now, when uh, you write a screenplay of the film, <clears throat> you cannot just talk about one thing. You have to add different dimensions to it. So my character is just one of the dimensions which shows how the Kashmiri Hindu community was further betrayed by popularizing different narratives which went against what they went through, which went against what they stood for. Everything that they were you know, trying to say, the way the men were killed, the way the women were gang raped and cut into pieces, the way little children were hacked to death, this absolutely brutal acts which happened in Kashmir were completely you know, veiled by this narrative of Azad Kashmir. And if they wanted Azad Kashmir, fine. I mean, you, anybody can get up and ask for a free country tomorrow. They are at their liberty to do so. But why do you want to shed blood for that? And why do you want to kill people who belong to a different faith? Isn't India, India a great example of how we all live together? With so much diversity, so many different uh, religions and castes, and we all live together very happily. But Everything that happens you, is on I'm social media. I'm very curious media. to know this. Did you speak to students at any university, whether it was JNU, Jami, or any university across country? How did you know what the professors say? Because you, she, you don't come across as a very negative, usual villain, but you are a negative character. Did you do that research of going to and talking to university students? I didn't talk to the university students because I didn't have to write the film. How did you make the, the dialogues, which I, I can say to an extent, some of the dialogues were very real? Yeah. See, when you get a script, it's my job as an actor to bring it to life. So, and always, you know, I mean, uh, very typically entertainment uh, journalists ask us this question, how do you identify with the character? Hmm. We don't identify with the characters ever. I mean, if I'm supposed to play a drug addict tomorrow, if I'm supposed to play a prostitute or a rag picker or you know anything of the sort, how do you identify with it? You never do. You just understand the character. You get into the psychographics of the character. You, you write the entire backstory. You become that character while you're performing in front of the camera. That's our training. That's how we do it. And you research for the character. I had done a lot of research for this. I had seen a lot of uh, material available on social media. I had gone through different speeches. Mm. I had seen, you know, studied their body language. I had studied the way they look, and not just one or two, several different women for that matter, and several different men also for that matter, because I just wanted, you know, to bring this character really alive. So that's what I did. But as far as talking to university students is concerned, I didn't have to do it because my job was not to write. My job, job was just to say those lines. Vivek Agnihotri, you seem to be leading in Bollywood a project for the revision uh, or the rewriting of history, popular imagination, and giving it a different perspective from what has so far been the accepted reality. We saw that with the Tashkent files and now. Where does this go from here? Is this, I see from your tone, tenor, that A, you're very passionate, you're very charged up, partly emotional. Uh, is this part of an ideological project in your head, in the way that you see it, a cultural project? or a political project, how do you see it and where does this journey go after the Kashmir files? Wonderful. I think this is the best question I've ever heard in the entire journey of 10 years. And see, the thing is, I, I, was, I went to Harvard to study. When Rajiv Gandhi became the prime minister, I left my green card, came back because he promised a new India. I was disappointed, it never happened. Then when VP Singh became the uh, prime minister, I was standing in front of Ames when all those boys were burning themselves, you know, and I joined his, this thing. I joined Arvind Kejriwal's protest also, Khersav also joined, everybody did at that time. I'm India somebody. against corruption. Mm. Uh -huh. so everything. Yeah, so yeah, we, yeah. I've spent a lot of money into on. that and time, money, energy, emotion, but I felt very disappointed. Then I said that you cannot depend on others. If you really want to bring a change, you have to do it yourself. So I quit, I resigned from Bollywood, means mentally. There is no office where you can resign. And because Bollywood 
when we say establishment, governments are never establishments. Establishment are the people who set the rules of the game. That is why, Rahul, please don't mind. I love you. You know that. The reason I was stopping you because I didn't want that conversation to go further because that was setting the rules of the game. And after that, all young people will start saying, oh, there are different opinions. There are no different opinions. Similarly, so I said, this democracy I have to make a comment on. Everybody talks about equality, justice, truth. Nobody knows what it is. So my, my first film was about how students are recruited by professors, which came true. Everybody knows Sai Baba was arrested immediately after my film. So much happened. So there are three lions on our emblem. Hmm. There are three lions in our emblem. What are these three lions? So I wondered, what is democracy? What are the pillars of democracy? My first film, Tashkent Files, was on right to truth. If you don't know the truth, heart attack or murder doesn't matter. If I don't know the real truth about the death of my second prime minister, I question the democracy. Sir. And my, act, my protagonist said, just rasht mein right to truth nahi hai, wo rasht kabhi vishguru nahi ban sakta. In this film, it's about right to justice. My protagonist says, just rasht mein right to justice nahi hai, wo rasht kabhi vishguru nahi ban sakta. My third film is about right to life. When I realized our intellectuals, historians, media, they have failed to educate the youth to ask tough questions to our democracy, what after all is democracy, I decided I'll make these three films with my own money. Then Abhishek Agrawal, a lot of people got involved. So that's what I'm doing. So I have a plan. My second plan was I wanted to challenge the establishment of Bollywood. And I'm happy after so many years, 2010 I started this journey. After 12 years, people are at least asking me this question in relation to now, Bollywood. Mr. Kher, you're in an interesting position where you've been on both sides of the Bollywood divide. You've been, for many years in your very long and distinguished career, a, very, a, a key part, central figure of mainstream Bollywood. You've now taken a position on certain cultural, ideological, political issues, which puts you at odds with some of the other filmmakers who represent a certain idea of Bollywood. How do you see your old crew, those who were part of your journey so far, respond? And what do you make of this push, Vivek Agnihotri, Ashok Pandit and the others saying, this is the real Bollywood, we want to back it, it has a certain uh, place in public You can't club me with anyone, what I'm doing, nobody else is doing. Okay, so the world. And, and the contemporary, more mainstream Bollywood, which looks at things a certain different way. So I come from a small town, and in small town, you want to be popular with everybody. Especially if you're from a lower middle you class. You still want to do that? So for a long time, I want to be pop wanted to be popular with anybody because I want came I did a film I was 28 29 I did Saranch and then I was grew, I had grown up on movies by Yash Chopra by any all those people Rahul Ravel Raj Kapoor with Rajendra Kumar Dilip Kumar etc I became part of it and I was very thrilled and happy and then a time came when I needed to decide whether I want to be popular with myself or with the world and that happened in 2014, when the Prime Minister Modi, at that time he was the Chief Minister, uh, was contesting for this. There was a letter sent to me, signed by 70 people from Hindi cinema, that Mr. Modi should not become the Prime Minister of this country. Please sign it. I said, why is anybody deciding on my behalf? How is it possible? I have been in this movie business for the last 30 years and nobody has done that. Nobody has said that isko mat banao prime minister usko mat batao. Ye kyun ho raha hai? So I said ek dar ke mare main bhi sign kar deta hu yaar mere ko varna nikal denge filmon se yaar kuch nahi I took a stand that no it's my democratic right. I will decide whether why should you decide that because so that is where I think the divide started. This is where it. So it started with that letter coming in. And I have an added one question sec, to that. One sec. Before that, Mr. Modi ko America ka uh, visa nahi diya jana chahiye, uske bhi letter sign hone shuru ho gaye. And then this intolerance thing. It's just that your calling happens and you decide to talk about it. And then the moment I decided to talk about that, I discovered that a lot of people, we are friends still, we, are, we will always remain friends because we have done some amazing work together. And there is no agenda, no dushman. But it seems that this Kanupam Gheer is a little far away. This was very popular, but it seems that it seems to be some other things. Were you socially ostracized? I don't want, because socially nobody can ostracize. I'm too 
टू सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंट मैं तो मिट्टी से आया हूँ गटर से आया हूँ मुझे कोई क्या डराएगा सो so, और मैं अपने बलबूते पर बनाऊँ जो भी बनाऊँ बट ये महसूस हुआ तो मुझे लगा कि मैं अपने साथ जी सकता हूँ या मैं ऐसे लोगों के साथ जी सकता हूँ जो अरे यार मैं मैं इसकी फिल्म में भी काम कर लूँ मैं इसकी फिल्म में भी काम कर लूँ मैं तो ऐसा आदमी हूँ कि सड़क पे खड़ा हो जाऊँगा डमरू बजाऊँगा और पांच लोगों को इकट्ठा करके अपना प्ले कर दूँगा बट आई नीड इट टू मेक इट दैट चॉइस वेदर आई वॉन्ट टू बी पॉपुलर विद माई सेल्फ और एन बी और बी बिकम अ पॉपुलर विद एवरीबडी एल्स Precisely so, because of the industry that you come from, and you are also. And there are some and wonderful no, people. No, no, I am yes. not part I of am, that industry. I, uh, I, I, what so do I you am call today? it? If it's not Bollywood, what are you? I am an independent filmmaker. And whatever I am today, I am independent. Is thanks filmmaker. to all those people who have helped me becoming today. I have the greatest love and greatest regards for them. Did none of you think that a film on Kashmir one to begin with, and then on Kashmiri Pandits very specifically? and to bring it in the manner that you did they are not being politically correct in the film they are not being soft they are saying what it is it could be a commercial suicide what convinced you to make this a film is, on kashmiri ye to tab sochna chahiye tha mujhe jab main 28 saal ka tha ke are main 65 saal ke budhe ka kaam karunga to main to commercial suicide karunga apna mujhe iske baad puri zindagi kaam nahi milega ye to tab sochna chahiye tha jab main ghar nahi ghar decide kar liya ki main kiraye ke ghar mein rehne wala hu main kiraye ke ghar mein rehta hu अभी Because भी आज ये डिसाइड किया मैं किराए के घर में रहता हूं सात साल पहले बिकॉज वेन यू वॉन्ट टू बी योर सेल्फ यू हैव टू गेट रिड ऑफ थिंग्स विच मेक यू डिपेंडेंट ऑन अदर थिंग्स सो ये आपके बलबूते पर डिपेंड करता है पूजा जी मैं एक दिल से बात करना चाहता हूं मैं सीरियसली आई एम टॉकिंग फ्रॉम माई सोल एवरीबडी ऑल ऑफ यू सेट एंड टॉक अबाउट चेंजिंग इंडिया हाउ विल इंडिया चेंज एज लॉन्ग एज वील कीप टॉकिंग अबाउट कमर्शियल सुसाइड वाई आई रेस स्पील बर्क थिंग मैं आपको एक किस्सा बताता हूँ मेरे एक काम करने एक जीव बंदा आया था मुझे पता भी नहीं था कि वो जीव है अमेरिकन था ही इज़ अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म मेकर वन डे आई वाज वेरिंग अ टी शर्ट विच हैड स्वस्थिक ऑन इट एंड ही कैप्ट लुकिंग एट मी एनी 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 आस्क मी ही सेट वाई आर यू वेरिंग दिस आई सेट बिकॉज दिस स्वस्थिक आई एक्सप्लेन टू हेम बट आई ऑल्सो रियलाइज इवन इफ इंडायरेक्टली इट हर्ट्स हेम इट इज माई एज अ ह्यूमन बींग रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नॉट टू हर्ट इज इमोशंस बिकॉज ही हैज गॉन थ्रू सो मच in his life same thing we talk about blacks what happens to us when we talk about kashmiri hindus the reason i raised steven spielberg not one person in this world leftists or communists or jihadis or whoever right wing has asked him whether 6 lakh people were killed or 5 lakh people were killed in holocaust we accept that holocaust was the most inhuman thing most barbaric thing happened but but as everything happened on the no, kashmiri no, hang pandit hang on hang on i'll, I'll, no, I'll, hang I'll on. tell you why I'm no on. hang on this is the problem i am talking about something which is so good and you are not letting me talk this is the problem no no we want to hear go you ahead, yeah please go ahead. so i am saying this film is about humanity and education give it due respect if you want to change india and don't get involved into number game they are not statistic they are human beings if your parents were killed you wouldn't have cared whether 4000 people were killed or 400 if your brother was killed or your sister was raped you would never ever in your life ask whether they are diverse views because terrorism has no diverse views no it absolutely. has only one view that and, it and is not and everything that happens when you talk of kashmiri pandits are the reactions that are immediately thrown at you islamophobia hate against minorities who's throwing nobody and has told me as uh, why I are see, you i i do name the person I, no i will tell you why if i don't know the person i'm no, not answering it is on social media people Who, are writing name the person no there are so many i mean no, there, no, i'm no. telling you what is the no, what is the thing no, that does happen when you no, talk of kashmiri no, pandits no no it's a okay. lie what this i'll take this opportunity one question you've played pushkarnath pandit i know that your father's name has been pushkarnath kheer how do you think pushkarnath kheer today watching pushkarnath pandit would have said to you and what has dulari said to you after watching that i think today i feel that as a son i have made my fa- father eternal and amar bana diya and that's the best tribute i could give to my father and that could only happen by projecting the pain of kashmiri hindus you know i must say we have lots of uh, kashmiri hindus in our newsroom and many of them are waiting right now to meet you yes your film touches a chord a chord deeper than most films have it's a story that is waiting to be told absolutely uh, it it has been attempted in the past but not with the kind of 
gore and brutality and realness that you have told that. So we really appreciate you taking out time and joining us here in the India Today Mediaplex. Uh, Pallaviji to you, thank you. And Anupam, thank you very much. And the new angry young man of the un-Bollywood. No, 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 I'm not. I yeah. just talk from my soul. He has, I don't know. His life vision, as you've seen, his perspectives are such that he has one reality. That is his only reality. <laughs> Love him or hate him, that's Vivek Agnihotri for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so All much. All three of you. Thank I think you. it's been Thank an incredibly you. brave film and many more. Thank you. Maybe. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.